and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you a simple text blend effect. Technically we're not blending the text, but a layer beneath, but let me show you how it's done. We've got a simple clip of a sailing boat, sailboat. Let me add some text with the type tool left click on the preview window and type it in. You can adjust it right here in effect controls, for example use a different font or a different color. And it should be fine for our example. I reposition that a little bit. And then I resize this text element in a timeline so that it's as long as my video clip. It's already good. But we want to have a little bit more contrast and add an effect to it. I'll just drag it to video channel 3, then right click in my project new item color mat. By default it should have the same size as your project, so you can just keep the defaults. Pick a color, you can use the eyedropper tool and sample something from the video clip. In this case some bluish color should be fine. Let me maybe start with this one. I confirm and then I drag it to video channel 2 so it's in between the Sabo clip and the text. I activate it and now in effect controls. If you can't find that, go to Window, click on Effect Controls, and later on we need Effects. You can find it here as well. Here we have the Opacity, and you can change the Blending Mode. Multiply is a good one to try. Or Screen, which is usually kind of like the inverse of Multiply. But you can try out the others as well. If you don't like the color, you can adjust it later on using a Tint, for example. Just type it in the effects, drag and drop it on the color mat, and here you find it. For example, let me make it lighter by changing map white to blue. And there's now the difference that we've got. It should be fine for our example, but you could also play around with the amount right here for the tint. Maybe that's a little bit better for the contrast. I'll stick with that. So we're getting somewhere, but I only want it for the text and not the entire clip. So I'll go back to the color mat, effect controls, and I scale it down. Open the drop down for scaling, and then uncheck the box uniform scale. And now you have scale height and width separate, and you can adjust it accordingly. That's way better, but I also want to add an effect to it. So let me type wipe into the effects menu and then I drag and drop a linear wipe onto the color mat. Here it is now. It starts at 0%, so let me start an animation there. I'll go forward. And now it's inverse. But you can see the animation working. So for us, we want to have minus 90 degrees for the wipe angle. And then we want to turn it around so that we start with 100 and then go to zero. And now it goes from left to right. When we roll the clip, and it gives the text more contrast, makes it more readable. You can close it the same way, just create a new keyframe right here, and then another one where you set it to 100%. So we now have an opening. And at the end, there's a closing for it if you want that. 
You have lots of freedom to adjust it, for example using the tint or using the blending mode as I've shown you, but this is generally the effect that I wanted to show you. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.